Welcome to another review here at Total Toy Recon. My name is Bob, and today we're dealing with the Gentle Giant 1 6th scale mini bust. Yes, this is Captain Rex, a personal favorite of mine. Ever since I saw the episode Rookies on the original Star Wars, the Clone Wars TV series, Captain Rex just immediately emerged as one of my favorite characters. It's amazing to me that how, like, even way back then, I was like, yeah, this is this this is going to be my clone. It was never Cody. It was never Commander Wolf, uh, like a lot of people have. It was always Captain Rex. And it's just incredible how much that character has latched on to everybody in fandom. Uh, so here we have a Star Wars Rebels Captain Rex. So obviously we have some age to him here. He's a little bit older. He doesn't have the hair. But we have the old school uh, helmet with the dual like holsters and everything. We're going to get really into this one. As you can see, we have some differences here. So we're going to have an arm or we're going to have pistols. So it's going to be fun to check it out. And then, of course, here we have Captain Rex on the back. Uh, this was the, the clone that was right next to Anakin Skywalker throughout the Clone Wars and in some other adventures as well. So it was really cool to see him emerge and be part of, uh, you know, a good ally to Ahsoka. Just a fantastic character. So just flipping open the book here. Star Wars books have always been a great thing in, in Star Wars fandom. We have done Aphra. We've done Maul. Uh, we've done Thrawn. Uh, we've even done, uh, the half scale busts of Ahsoka and the TIE fighter pilot. So I haven't touched these two yet. I, from what I understood, uh, Leia sold out instantly and we haven't gotten the Mandalorian yet with Grogu. So let's get this out. It's funny how the baseball card or letter of authenticity did not pop out right away. And interesting. There is no letter of authenticity. So that's, that's very, very rare. Very rare. So let's get him out of here. And again, if you watch enough of our reviews, I always say, are we going to get a top of the... Are we going to get a Star Wars logo on this? This is interesting as well, too. They cut this out to get his arm in there. So, bottom. It's nice when they actually tell you how you're supposed to put it back in. But as I always say, I always bookend this so that we have like a like a binder on the side that can tell us how to put them back in. Plus, it's a great way to store it, uh, these items. I mean, I have so many of these now that the wife and I work into a rotation of how we're going to do this. And if you've heard this a million times, I'm sorry, but thank you for listening, which means you have heard this a thousand times. So we're going to slowly open him up. We have... I mean, just look at the details on this right here. Look at this. We've got scratches for kills. We've got the pistol. We've got, like, Big fingernails, small fingernails, man who's worked his whole life ever since, you know, joining the Republic's army. And we have more battle scars. Look at this. Holsters are awesome. And we have one of the pistols here. Now, Captain Rex currently is selling for... 120, so that's not bad. If you put him in relation to the Kane and Jarrus that we just reviewed, uh, check that out on Instagram and YouTube. You definitely, I mean, he's in the same scale, but as in extras go, he's got a lot of cool extras. So we have the helmet and the arms. You see these, these are magnets. So this will put this right here. I know you can't quite see it, but I'm gonna hold it up. So it gives you an idea. He's got the helmet right there. Now we've got helmets with heads. Helmets and heads. So I'm going to pop this out of here. We're going to move everything back. Give you a better sense of what we're dealing with here. So here is the head with the neck. So you essentially got two helmets in this deal. And as far as magnets go, I mean, you're, they're basically giving you two for each one. You see the hand over here on the side. I mean, really, no. I'm looking. I'm looking and looking. So we've got a weird little scratch line here that's different than what's on here but almost identical and that just looks like some sort of factory fall factory fall there so we're going to put this one on and he's already turning which is awesome so here's one version of what we have i mean that's just that's captain rex right there that's really really cool and i like how fans have retconned him to put him in return of the jedi and they they further have done it on um 
the little cartoon series that they did with all the different female characters of uh, the Star Wars universe, which is really cool on Disney+. Plus. I do recommend checking that out. It's, it's fun. It's And it's short. Um, I really like them. Um, so let's get the Rex head out. And see, the cool thing about this is they can base it on Timo Morrison. Not so much the character as we saw him on the back of the box, who's slightly based on Timo Morrison. But here we have the scar on his head from when he cut when they cut the chip out. And it really is, it really is a great likeness. So then we can do this if we wish. So kind of like he was in Rebels where you actually wouldn't put the helmet on. And then we can always add to this extra kind of just posed moment. I mean, that's, a, that's fantastic. It really, really is cool. Um, I mean, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm just... I'm in awe of it. It's really, really cool. So, yeah, this is this is going out right now. So the the wife's gonna have to we're gonna have to work somebody out in the rotation. So we didn't get the letter of authenticity card, which is funny, but we do have one thousand one hundred and eighty nine of twenty five hundred. So we do have this one as well, and he's really, really cool. Um, I'm really not quite sure which one I'm gonna do to start him off with. I really kind of like having him as Rex with the helmet off. But then putting him like this and giving him the double pistols is just amazing. So thank you, Gentle Giant. This is this is this is one of the things why I love doing what I do, because I'm holding this character. It was only a cartoon, and I'm holding him like almost in tribute to him and his 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 contributions to Star Wars are felt by me as a fan and I've really, really loved the character and how he's evolved, how he's on Bad Batch. I really hope that he appears somewhere in, in the new Obi-Wan series. Um, but what a great character. This is Bob from Total Toy Recon. Thank you for tuning in. Definitely check out our reviews on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, we repost things on Facebook. Um, thank you. May the Force be with you.